In this video, I'm going to share with you additional triggers, some of which I personally used in the past and still use up to this day to give you more ideas so you can eventually branch off and come up with your own triggers. I'll be starting with kinesthetic and tactile triggers such as feet stomping, dancing, jumping, jumping jacks, joint rotations, lunges, push-ups, which are all good ways to keep up your blood flow, by the way, and staying warm if you do not have a practice area at a contest. It could be clapping your hands, uh, pedaling to your spot. So basically anything that requires the physical senses to bring your attention here and now. Then we have breath work, such as the Wim Hof breathing method, which has a lot of health benefits, by the way. Uh, another form of trigger could be auditory, meaning uh, your favorite music. It could be specific noises such as white noise and binaural beats. Uh, I personally use drum and bass and deep house to warm up and then I would crank it up with heavy trap music to work on new skills. Also before and during my contest runs uh, and these were my cues for higher levels of intensity. You could also use the crowd to your advantage, especially if you're at a major event such as the Fees in Montpellier. Although I do not recommend that you always rely on the crowd since it can vary tremendously from one event to the other. Then we have the Warriors Cry, a uh, favorite one of mine, which is when you yell your guts out before uh, going for a run. Uh, it has the effect of dissipating stress and empowering you so give it a try and see for yourself um, positive affirmations and mantras are very powerful triggers words are powerful beyond belief your mindset is as important as your physical performance so make sure to integrate these into uh, your preparation and skill learning sessions through time and with repetitions they become a fully integrated part of your whole athletic game olfactory triggers may be one of your thing it could be a special fragrance a perfume essential oils a detergent uh, that you use to wash your athletic gears then finally we have uh, nootropics which are cognitive enhancers one of the most popular being caffeine in the form of either coffee or tea and other examples of that are creatine l-theanine Alpha Brain, Noa Cube, just to name a few. A special note here, uh, your natural state comes first. So always seek to use uh, the minimal dose for maximum results. And another note, uh, you're only going to reap the full benefits if your life habits are optimal, especially your diet. So I'm sharing all of this information with you for the reason that Every trigger that you apply during your session is activating the warrior within and is getting you one step closer to deep flow states. So we have gone through a whole range of examples and now is the time for your first assignment in the next video, which is to create your own sequence.